Rupert, um, on a related issue, lots of your constituents will have waved their children off to university. Some of them will now be <laughs> quarantined in their rooms. Others will be told they're not getting proper lessons. Do you think the government should stand up and say, actually, students who aren't getting proper lessons should get a refund? Well, I mean, I think the government should have been better prepared for this. This was obviously very foreseeable. It's not just been sprung on them. And, but uh, what about the refund? I mean, you know, you're not getting the ed education you're paying. You, you, you mean, thought you were paying for. I do think those people have a point. I used to work in the university sector, so they would say that they're not being supported as well, sort of mm. thing. So, I mean, I think they used to always talk about blended learning, but it does seem a bit off that people are paying £9,000 for the privilege of being in their student room, which, if you remember... Robert, those beds are designed for celibacy, aren't they? So you're trapped in your tiny little cell, bunkered in there, with maybe the odd online lecture. I mean, it does seem a bit off, doesn't it? But so I, I, think, think... I think you're saying that actually they've got a pretty good case to get some money back. I, I think our leadership's probably not going all the way there yet, but they need a something. I mean, uh, it was totally foreseeable, and it's a part of this serial incompetence of this government. And also... but, why would, but why wouldn't Keir Starmer stand up and just say that? Um, look, I mean, I'm not Keir Starmer, so I'm not going to talk on his behalf. But I think there's also issues with testing in universities because um, it turns out young people are quite often asymptomatic and a lot of these outbreaks... In fact, we've all probably had, um, Liz, maybe as well, in her patch, schools. There's loads of school outbreaks and mm. an outbreak can mean two cases, so mm. it's not as scary as it sounds. But every school has been given 10 testing kits. Some of these comprehensive schools have thousands and thousands of people on roll. And the thing is, we don't want our schools and universities to be the next care homes crisis. And the government Although the evidence tests... does tend to show that young people, when they get it, either get it asymptomatically or not terribly seriously. So no, nobody's uh, saying it's trivial, but yeah, I don't think they're but... the next care homes crisis I mean, where, where the lethality was more... on a different scale. I think they need to be a bit more generous with the testing, because at, the, at the moment it's only for people with symptoms sure. and weirdly young people don't display any. Ruben, I'm just going to pick up on some of that with Rupa and uh, with Nick. Um, Rupa, if I could just start with you. There's some polling out today which actually shows that the British public are very much in favour of sending asylum seekers offshore. How should Labour deal with this? Well, I mean, we've had a strong and proud tradition in this country of uh, taking in asylum seekers... Well, uh, the Dubs Amendment, Lord Dubs himself, was a kinder transport child originally, and um, I so think... So should Labour have... oppose this uh, as formal policy? I mean, I haven't seen what it is we're going to oppose yet, so I'd need to read the wording of what it is, but, I mean, just generally, I don't think we should be turning our back on vulnerable people across the world who've made perilous journeys to come here. Um, Rupert, one of the uh, findings I found really striking from Jail Partners, uh, which we've seen tonight, is that almost half of people apparently don't believe the rule of six goes far enough. Do you think there was a case for having more stringent lockdown measures, or, sorry, social distancing measures nationally? Well, I mean, apparently the rule of six was decided on because that was an easy number. It was plucked out of the air, which I think is, again, a reason why there needs to be more parliamentary scrutiny. It just kind of came out of nowhere and appeared overnight and then the next day it, it was in. I mean, I think there's a balance to be struck here between what is achievable, doable. Um, you know, some libertarian people think we should sit on our hands and do nothing in this virus. Let's rip through the population. That's not an option. Um, the rule of six, we're stuck with it now, but there are so many anomalies, as mm. you pointed out, with the grouse mm. shooting. And it seems, you know, the old uh, love thy neighbour has turned into dobbing them next door sort of thing. That seems a bit un-British as well, doesn't I it? Mean, Nick, Nick, can I mean, Rupert, I'd like to actually start with you. Now, it was very easy for the Labour Party, you know, under Jeremy Corbyn, to be critical of Donald Trump. Um, but there is a chance he's going to win again. Uh, and it has to be said that quite a lot of people saw the Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn as straightforwardly anti-American. Should Keir Starmer try and reposition uh, the Labour Party back to a position of not being anti-American, whoever wins? Well, I don't think we've ever been an anti-American party. Um, I mean, actually, what Liz Truss said, that we shouldn't be meddling in other people's affairs, she has a point there. But, I mean, a lot of right-wing people in America... Uh, John McCain's widow has come out for Biden this time round. And also, I think George Bush II also... So, so, but, but should, should Keir Starmer work with Donald Trump 
if Keir Starmer... Yeah, of course, whoever is the legitimate winner of that ele election. But what we've seen yesterday is Trump is not going to go quietly if he isn't the eventual victor. And, and I was meant to be going to do election observation there as one of these sort of... Uh, but it looks like for red tape... I'm always out of time. I do just want to ask... I get knocked down, but I get up again. You ain't never gonna keep me down, and that's all you're getting.